What's up everybody? Today you're gonna enjoy this video. It's the 2017 Chevy Corvette Stingray. Stay tuned with me over the next few minutes as we take a look at this car right here today at Marchant Chevrolet. Carbine made easy at Marchant Chevrolet. This next video walk around is just for you because I want you to see this car today. Alright, so we're inside the new Stingray 2017. You talk about being low to the ground, this is low to the ground. And I mean, it's got to be, it's a sports car, right? So uh, let's get in and pull it out in front right here at the store and get some beautiful shots of it and just kind of walk around and check it out for the first time. Um, right off the get go, man, this thing's got some beautiful screens on the inside that really, um, they're really exciting looking when you're when you're in it and they're high definition too um the lights down the floor as you can see they're super bright down there which is nice so foot on the brake keys in my pocket right now we're gonna hit that button oh my goodness you can tell it's got a lot of power that's for sure it's got a bunch of power and uh oh we and it, when it has uh you know 200 on there like that you know you got a lot of horsepower, you know you got a lot of speed inside this vehicle. So here's our shifter right there. And uh, I haven't been in one of these in about a year or so because we don't get a whole lot of Corvettes at the Marchant Chevy store because we're one of the smaller Chevy dealerships in the Carolinas. Because we're just kind of, we're kind of on the outskirts of Charleston. And that's where all the big Chevy stores are at. But the, uh, the new general manager he uh, working with us here he got this car for us and I give him a nice big hug for that because I've been wanting to film one for a while and uh, I think it'll sell I don't see why it wouldn't okay so it is automatic but you got your paddle shifters and all that good stuff on the steering wheel you know I don't know I you know I mean I know a lot of y'all are die-hard automatic or uh, manual transmission drivers but I don't see anything wrong with the automatic, with the paddle shifters. I mean, with a car with this much power, I think you'll enjoy it either way. Um, so let's go ahead and hop out real quick. Here is where you, you just press that button and that opens the door just like so, as you can see. All right. Like I said, it's low to the ground. That's low. Black is the color, folks. I mean, look at it. Beautiful car. Black looks good. It definitely looks sleek and sporty and uh, night rider-ish, right? But uh, let's get into the front of the car because I want you to see how wide it is. And I know there's, you know, there's tons of Corvette videos on YouTube, but if you're watching mine today, I just want to personally thank you. And um, if you could leave a comment. Please do. Love to know who some of the fans are and some of my subscribers that are watching. Okay. So, and again, I'm no expert on this car, but I can do one thing. I can walk around with a camera and talk about it. Let's take a look here. So, I can only imagine those are your LED lights right there, your blinkers. You got that nice little LED strip right there. You got your projector lamp right here. Some kind of little thing going on on top right there. Let the air come out, keep the engine cool. She's definitely wide. Woo, she is wide. I'm loving the black on black on the Stingray with the black wheels. Let's get a closer look at them. So, they are Michelin tires or the Pilot Super Sports. Good looking tire with a black wheel that says sexy and huge silver brake calipers back there because you're gonna need some stopping power when you're on the interstate driving this bad boy. Um, let's see what size we got going on. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, 245, 40 series ZR tire with an 18, wheel, 18 inch wheel on the front. I think they got a different size wheel on the back. I'll know in just a minute. There's a Stingray logo. I mean, you're just a few inches off the ground with this car. Um, I like Corvettes. My mom had eight Corvettes over her lifetime. Her first car when she was 16 was a Chevy Corvette back in the day. God bless her soul. She passed away in 08. But um, she'd be driving a vet right now if she was still here with us. Taillight's looking good. 
Look how aggressive. You know, to be honest with you, I think the rear end looks more aggressive than the front, but it matches up well. Party in the front, party in the back. Also, LED lighting right there. Uh, the flash is not happening out here with me. It's happening through the camera. The, uh, I guess something to do with the frame rates on the camera. But anyways, quad exhaust, look how wide. My goodness gracious. And I love those pipes. Let's kind of get a little zoom in. Not bad at all. There is a backup camera that sits right there. So that's your backup camera. You got a third brake light right up top above the Chevy Corvette logos. And then look how wide the tires are on the back. Nice and wide, again, real wheel drive. Ah, let's take a look and see what size we got on the rims in the back. Because remember earlier, I thought they were a little bit bigger possibly, but I don't know. They look like the same size, let's see. Um, they're 19s, that's right. So you got 19 inch in the back, 18 in the front. Wider tire in the back, of course. But hold on. Wider, yeah, two, two, 265, 35 in the back. Okay, you got a 40 in the front. She's beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. The body lines. It really has turned into a supercar. Now, what would this video be? Remember, you know, on this right here, you just put your hand right there, open that up. Okay, everything's nice and smooth. You know, that right there. Okay, you don't have to touch that and turn anymore. Just put it in. Um, but yeah, what would this video be if I didn't pop the hood? Oh, that was a trunk. Okay, I'm trying to find the hood. Um, well, hold on. It was a trunk. So you can see though, you got actually a really decent amount of space in the back back here, so there's a lot of room. So very roomy in the back, that's for sure. You got your plate for the front right there. Some little goodies in here, your lights, all that going on in the back, some little tie downs. Ooh. One of my neighbors that lives across the street's got a Corvette and a Mustang. He'd love to see this one right here. I have to send him a link to the video. Okay, we gotta, we gotta figure out how to pop the hood. Cause I know a lot of y'all wanna see that. Let's look at the seats real quick though. Check them out, check them out. Nice seat. The stitching looks good. All that looks really nice. Um, I'm just keep rolling because the store closes any minute now. And uh, I really want to pop the hood for you and take a look around under there. Let me just set the camera down real quickly here and, uh, and see where it's at. I don't want to stop recording because I'm on a mission. Right there. See right there, folks? Can you all see my hand? It's right there, okay? They should have put some kind of little logo right there for it, but no big deal. That's fine. Solid. Now remember, a Corvette opens up from this way, not that way. As you can see, and it's lightweight. I mean, very light. Now, I'm not sure if it's still fiberglass or not, but they used to be all fiberglass. Probably still is. And that's the engine. That's what makes this big boy go. And my goodness, it's a big engine. So there's under the hood. Not too much to see other than all that right there. Okay. And don't be a baby, don't be, you know. We do got some pollen on the car. It's pollen season, it's March 2017. But before we go, let's just look at this sticker right here real quickly. Um, that's nice, when you open the door, the seat, the window just kind of pops down a little bit so you can open it up. Let's take a look at this right here. Okay. Stingray, like we said, 6.2 liter. V8, eight speed paddle shift automatic. Um, I'm trying to see if it's got the horsepower. Why wouldn't they list the horsepower? 6.2, I'm sure it's got over 600. You would think it does. I mean, I've driven Dodge Challenger Hellcats and stuff and Dodge Charger Hellcats and they got over 700 so I can only have, oh carbon fiber hood okay just learned something removable carbon fiber carbon fiber hood that's cool 
Okay, but anyways, total MSRP is 60575 Okay, that was what it was, 55450 and then you add on the 1LT equipment and all these different little packages here from the wheels and performance data and video recorder. Oh, wow. Okay, eight-speed paddle shifter transmission. All that brings it up to sixty thousand five seventy-five. Now, what I can tell you about Marchant Chevy, folks, is they. It doesn't matter if it's a Corvette, a Suburban, a Tahoe, a Silverado. They sell every new Chevrolet for ninety-eight dollars over invoice. So, even this Corvette will be ninety-eight over invoice. If there's incentive money or rebates, you can get that. And also, no D or admin fees, no dock fees. You know, if you've ever bought a car before, that dealer processing fee, you know, I, I call it a processing fee or an admin fee or a dock fee. They're all the same thing. They don't have them here at Marchant Chevrolet. They don't have them. So, that saves you three, four hundred dollars too. So anyways, come on down and see them. There's a Corvette. We got it. It's March 2017. I'm happy to announce the Stingray has arrived at Marchant Chevrolet. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. You know, my YouTube channel has got over 2,600 for sale car videos. Did you hear me? 2,600 for sale car videos and relaxing videos too. So it's all kinds of car videos. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe. I'm trying to earn people's respect this year and bring them some better content and spend a little more time filming these vehicles. Like right now, we're up to 11 minutes. So uh, please hit the subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. And comment online. Let me know if you subscribed. I'm trying to figure out who are my fans out there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. <laughs> I know I said I was going, but uh, let's just see how easy it is to back it back into the spot. Let's see. Okay. I got this massive camera rig in my hand. It's not that big, but it's like a camera rig that my camera sits on instead of hand held in it. You know, sometimes I watch the videos, I'm like, man, my wife's like, Chad, she's like, that stuff gets me dizzy watching the videos sometimes, you know? So I was like, all right, let me try today to put it on a rig and see if it's a little bit stabler. So that's what we're doing. And it's not one of those fancy rigs that um, has the gimbal systems and all that. It's really like a, you know, hundred dollar little rig I bought off of Amazon that works great, but it's nice because you can put all your stuff on. Because you know, when I watch videos, I always I'm wondering. I'm like, man, what the, what kind of camera do they got? What kind of rig are they holding? You know, what all's going on there? Well, uh, the camera that I'm actually filming on today, and I have several cameras, but this one is the Canon XA10. It's a uh, it's a video camera. Um, I have some digital SLRs like the T6i and you know stuff like that. Don't have a full frame yet, but I like this camera a lot because it stays in focus pretty much all the time, and it uh, and it does the focus really quickly. And um, for situations like this, vlogging and on the fly, that is nice to have. So I could suggest if you're out looking for a camera to buy to do some filming and stuff like that buy a something like what I'm talking about here go online look at the Canon you know XA10 look at the HF G20 you know some of those cameras you can buy the HF G20 right now in Best Buy for like 800 bucks and um, you can get some good deals on them but uh, if you're watching you might not be concerned about buying cameras you more or less might be wanting to buy a car <laughs> right that would be maybe what you're thinking about doing so uh, anyways but if, if you buy a car like this right here I buy you a nice camera because you're gonna want to film you in the car and the car and all that kind of thing I know if I had a Corvette I sure as heck would be doing that too but um let's look real quick there's a beautiful black Camaro right there and I'm trying to get a shot of these headlights how bright they are and uh, right now they're just regular let's put the high beams on there's a high beam if you can see that cut it off on and uh, pretty nice not bad at all now they're off anyways good looking car right here and marching Chevy all right I'm done for today I'm going home I'll play with the kids and have a good night and enjoy the rest of the weekend on Sunday I hope you enjoyed that nice looking vehicle right there at Marchant Chevrolet. And remember folks, car buying really is made easy. No aspirin needed at all at Marchant Chevy. And this video was brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real videos, real cars, real people.